attack. Attack. Surface attacks. Ground attack. That's what the AD-1 Sky Raider, the Navy's latest attack plane, is for. Attack on surface and ground targets. The attack may be by torpedo, toss bombing, dive bombing, level bombing or strafing. The designation A is new for the Navy. It will apply to all future production airplanes that formerly were designated as torpedo bomber or scout bomber class airplanes. This latest of the Douglas dive bombers has something new added to make it even more effective in its job. Fuselage dive brakes. These brakes on the bottom and each side of the fuselage slow the airplane down and give a new high for accuracy in dive bombing and maneuvering. But when the Sky Raider hits the deck on a torpedo or strafing run, it doesn't poke along, waiting to be shot at either. Even in a peacetime Navy, recognition of this airplane is important. Head on, the fuselage is flat on the bottom and slab-sided. The bubble canopy looks small. The single fin is high. The low wing with slight dihedral has a 50-foot span. Now check these features again at higher speed. smoothly fared into it is a distinctive feature of the Sky Raider. The bubble canopy appears small in relation to the airplane and is far forward. The right R3350 engine is large but the engine cowl is the smallest thing in the silhouette. Air scoops, top and bottom, add to the depth of the fuselage. In the AD-1, Douglas has created a dive bomber that keeps the handling characteristics of a fighter. This big airplane is still a lightweight, and any maneuver is all in the day's work. In plan, the engine cowl fares smoothly into the flat sides of the fuselage. The wing is tapered on both the leading and trailing edges and has squared off tips. The stabilizer is well ahead of the end of the fuselage. Since the rudder is behind the elevators, the elevators have no rudder cutouts and their trailing edges are straight. The Sky Raider has the same nice handling characteristics at slow speeds as it does at high speeds. Conventional landing gear appears small on this airplane. Because the cockpit is so far forward, the visibility is a carrier pilot's dream. And no matter what situation you find yourself in, you can pour the coal to the Sky Raider and get on out of there. And there's nothing tricky about it. Yes, from the pilot's standpoint, it's a good, honest airplane.
and although it may look like a fighter in the air, it is a man-sized airplane. You get some idea of the depth of that fuselage from this six-foot pilot. On the ground, we can get a better idea of the size of the fuselage dive brakes, which give the Sky Raider such good dive control. This shows one of the actuating cylinders that can open this brake at 400 miles per hour. While we're on the ground, here's a closer look at one of the many armament combinations. A 1,000 pound bomb, two tiny Tims, and 12 five inch rockets. Or you can replace the 1,000 pounder and the two tiny Tims, each with a 2,000 pound bomb. A torpedo can be carried on any of the three bomb racks. But with a torpedo on a wing rack, flap operation is restricted to 30 degrees, still plenty for a good takeoff. And speaking of takeoffs, here's an airplane that won't give you gray hairs at the bow end of the carrier deck. And in the air, the Sky Raider just keeps right on going, up, up, and up. In flight, the various armament combinations, or extra fuel tanks, all alter the picture of this airplane. So look it over carefully. Another feature of the AD-1 is the means of ejecting the bomb on the center rack. A starter cartridge powers the ejector, which throws the bomb clear of the propeller in the dive. Watch it work. One of the things that makes this airplane handle so well in a dive is its adjustable stabilizer. The adjustable stabilizer takes the place of trim tabs on the elevators and gives a greater range of tail loads. As we've said, the dive brakes can be opened at any speed up to 400 miles per hour. The main gear can also be lowered to slow the AD-1 up even more. When you watch her in action, you get the idea that the Sky Raider is no sitting duck for enemy fighters. Its two 20 millimeter cannon, combined with its maneuverability, give the pilot good support. Remember the Sky Raider's recognition features. Round engine cowl, smaller than the fuselage, with the bubble canopy well forward and the fuselage exceptionally deep. High fin and rudder fared smoothly into the fuselage. Horizontal stabilizer high on the fuselage. Tapered wings with squared off tips. The large internal tank and the external tanks that can be used on the way out give the Sky Raider long range to fulfill its mission and fight its way back. And when you let the gear down at the end of a long flight, you know you still have plenty of fuel to set it down again safely. On that welcome little postage stamp, the Sky Raider calls home. The Sky Raider is one of the Navy's post-war airplanes, designed, developed, and produced to help maintain what we fought for. <laughs>